Welcome to Health Secrets of the Bible. And I'm Sydney. And tonight I want to tell you about a man. And I met this man when I was on my deathbed, right in this house here, about about 29 years ago now and I was dying of terminal cancer and I just said okay if you're real Jesus just get me to heaven and get my family there someday and boom all fear of death he boomed off of me he had mercy on me and a few months later the cancer entered into my liver and was all widespread in my body and the uh, doctors you know told my husband that I, I was dying and my life was over and I was touched I was touched by a miracle from the man of mercy and you may guess who that man is his name is Jesus and this man of mercy is love God is love his love incarnate God in the body of, of man love so I wanted to focus in on mercy so what happened today is I actually went to church which I normally don't do I, I can't stand that you know the pride and arrogance of, of the ministers generally but I went to a, a, a new church and and uh, wasn't too impressed but the, the worship was beautiful and I was talking to Jesus when we were all singing and and Jesus says don't get involved in politics because the politicians don't have mercy he said no that that I'm a person of mercy Jesus is a person of mercy and that just be a, for Jesus so just be for Jesus he's a man of mercy and the politicians, I'm afraid they really lack mercy bad, and we can see that. Everybody's betraying Trump right now, our president. But anyway, I, don't, I, I digress. I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about the mercy of Jesus. I once heard Chuck Missler say what mercy and grace are. He says, Let's see, grace, that's the goodness that flows from God. Grace is getting, let's see, grace is getting what we don't deserve. In other words, all the goodness that comes from God. You know, do you have a place to live? Do you have clothes? Do you have food? Do you have loved ones? That's God's grace. That is totally God's grace. Do you have air to breathe? Can you breathe? That's God's grace. It all comes from the hand of God. All good things come from God. And a person can't receive anything unless it's given to them from heaven. That's what John the Baptist said. Okay, so Chuck Missler said that grace is getting the good things that we don't deserve. And he says mercy is not getting what we deserve. <laughs> In other words, uh-oh, you know, something bad, and we deserve something bad, but by God's mercy, we don't get it. And I thought that was a, a fun um, interpretation. But I want to show you what Jesus is. I, I, I want you to know this man of mercy, Jesus. Because when we're laying there on our deathbed, there's only one thing that matters, and that's our relationship with Jesus. He can get us to heaven. We can't get ourselves, our good deeds, our ministers, our good works, nothing. But Jesus himself can get us to heaven, and that's it. He is the Savior of the world. He did die on the cross. He's real, and he did resurrect. So I want to... Um, read a couple verses here for you I was surprised to hear about the cry of mercy in the Psalms okay this is Psalm 51 1 
And this is the uh, New Living Translation. And the uh, psalmist, the guy who wrote the psalm, uh, David, it was King David, he called out, Have mercy on me, O God, because of your unfailing love, because of your great compassion. And he says, blot out the stains of my <laughs> bad, my sins, you know, my transgressions, you know, my bad, <laughs> what I did wrong. So, so that's a prayer that we can all pray, you know, have mercy on me, O God, because of your unfailing love, because of your great compassion, you know, blot out the stains of my sins, my bad, my mistakes, my wrongdoings. So I pray that prayer over you, the same prayer that King David prayed. I pray for you in the name of Jesus, that Lord Jesus, right now, you have mercy on the viewer because you have steadfast love and you are abundant in mercy and blot out all of their mistakes. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Well, thank you so much. It's been great. Here's another verse. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy. I look to you for protection. I will hide beneath the shadow of your wings until the danger passes by. And this again was King David crying out. And this is the New Living Translation, Psalm 57.1. And here's the English Standard Version. Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful to me, for in you my soul seeks refuge. In the shadow of your wings I will take refuge till the storms of destruction pass by. And isn't that interesting? Right now, uh, the USA is kind of in the storms of destruction. Yeah, the vote was stolen from the people. And none of the uh, politicians, the proud, pompous political pretenders, are uh, doing anything about it. Hmm. Their hearts are being revealed. So basically, we're actually in a time of danger. So let's pray for that now. Let's pray. Okay, so I'll pray for you. Okay, right now, Jesus, God, have mercy on the viewer, O oh God, have mercy. We look to you for protection. We will hide beneath the shadow of your wings or your refuge until the danger passes by in the name of Jesus. Okay, so we've prayed for this time. And there's a verse in scripture that says the overwhelming victory is ours in Christ Jesus. God is a merciful God. God loves you. Jesus loves you. Okay, so there's our prayer for you during this time. Never, ever give up faith. Jesus loves you. Okay, good night.